I'm Pastor Joey Rogers and welcome to Prophecy Files Briefing. We're glad that you've joined us today. I want to take you into the recent Prophecy Files Bible Prophecy Conference and a little excerpt from the message that I brought, Let There Be Light. I can assure you this message will be a blessing to you. So here's a little excerpt and then I'll be back in just a moment. Einstein's theory of relativity that he studied, of course, says that the induction of light is what is required for all things to exist, matter, whatever, whether it's the chair, the bottle of water, the Bible you have, this microphone, so forth and so on. But Einstein dealt with some other equations and the scientists did and they're running, they run equations now and experiments where they've taken the protons and reduced them down to what they call pions and they said, we're going to try to speed that up to the speed of light because Einstein said at the speed of light, at the speed of light, that matter, whatever that matter is, the chair, the person, whoever it may be, decays in less than 28 billionths of a second. 28 billionths of a second. Cal some, some smart guy calculated it out to be 1,920 feet, approximately a quarter of a mile. And so they ran the experiments. And they've only been able to get up to 99.99999% because nothing can exceed the speed of light. Nothing can exceed the speed of light. It dissipates. It is no more. It has to change. Are you with me? What happens if you take an object with mass, a person, a chair, whatever, and move it faster and faster? Well, Einstein's thought was that when it gets to the speed of light, the clocks stop, time stops. What are you saying? When time reaches the speed of light, that's called eternity. No time. Clocks stop. In fact, he said, if you were to push through that, it would literally slow the clock down until it stops. And I sat the other night for your sakes and listened on YouTube to six different physicists tell me about this whole experiment. And when the scientists took the smallest subatomic pion and made it travel up to the speed of light but couldn't get it any further, they concluded not by that experiment but by the experiments that they ran around it that at the speed of light, clock stops, time stops, the atom is moving, but it moves into eternity where there is no time. And if you were here yesterday, you heard Bill Federer say, a day is with the Lord as a thousand years and a thousand years as a day. We're still moving, but it feels like I'm not, but we go into a slow, t slow effect, a slow moving effect, but we're just moving in a different form. So at the speed of light, mass breaks down and your body cannot survive the speed of light at 186,000 miles per second. Mass cannot pass through the speed of light. At the speed of light, things change. So I say to you again, when time reaches the speed of light, that is eternity. Let me say it a different way. Einstein had no idea that he was speaking something. The scientists who are conducting the experiments don't understand it, they're just doing experiments. But when time as we know it right now and some, I just read an article last night where somebody said, have you figured it out that time is moving faster, it feels like? I mean, I hope you all know that 13 weeks from now, I think it is, is Christmas. <laughs> have you bought your gifts yet? Have you opened up an account on Amazon? What are you doing? 
You better hurry up and get it before somebody else does because it'll be here before you know it. They already have Halloween stuff out. Time. So when time reaches the speed of light, you go into slow motion, it feels. But I'm moving faster than ever before. In fact, light speed. Here's what I want to say. When time reaches the speed of light, that means you've stepped into eternity. Let me say it another way. When time reaches the speed of light, things change. Let me say it another way. When time reaches the speed of light, it is the Einstein explanation of the rapture of the church. Consider this, ladies and gentlemen. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall be changed. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye at the last trump, for the trumpet of God shall sound and the dead in Christ shall rise incorruptible and we shall be changed. For this corruptible, this mass, shall put on incorruption, no mass, and this mortal shall put on immortality, so when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying, death is swallowed up in victory. Oh, death, where is thy sting? Oh, grave, where is thy victory? Ladies and gentlemen, when time reaches the speed of light, we're going to be gone, and it could be any second now. Get on your feet and shout, let there be light. You've been hearing an excerpt from the message that I brought, Let There Be Light, at the recent Prophecy Files Bible Prophecy Conference. I can assure you, you'll want to hear it in its entirety, and I'm glad to make it available at paceassembly.org. The entirety of the message, in fact, the entirety of the conference is there available for you right now. You can be blessed by all of the information and be ready for the next great event on the calendar of God, the return of Jesus Christ in the rapture of the church. I encourage you to go there at paceassembly.org, get all that information. Till the next time, remember Jesus Christ is coming soon.